highly contagious stomach bug is rapidly spreading in our area. Yeah, right now, according to the CDC data, the positivity rate of this virus in the Northeast is more than 15%, alarmingly high. Dr. Dina Abdimulam joining us now with more on this virus. Dr. Dina, nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so right off the bat, what is the stomach bug that's going around and why is it getting so many people sick? Is it more contagious? So the stomach bug is known as a norovirus and it's the most common cause of what we call gastroenteritis in the United States, which is basically leading to inflammation of the intestinal linings. And it is highly contagious, which is why we are seeing so many new cases of this bug. And this typically happens at this time of year. Why at this time of the year? Most people are indoors. There's more transmission of germs in this way. Mm. And so people are touching exposed surfaces, not necessarily washing their hands and getting sick. And, and Dr. Dina, what, what are the symptoms that you know that it's this particular virus and not say the flu? Yeah. So this, the symptoms associated with norovirus are mostly GI related. So nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, significant cramping are some of the most common symptoms. When you have the flu, you have more generalized symptoms like fevers, muscle aches, you feel very tired, but this specific virus has GI-related symptoms only. It sounds terrible. How long does it last usually? It typically lasts for about one to three days. Okay. All right, so now if someone is, is sick, how long should they stay home from work or school? It, it takes a couple of days to get over, but when are you no longer contagious? So that's a great uh, question because most people think that they're most contagious only when they're symptomatic. But the truth is, is that you can be spreading the virus even when you are not having symptoms. Wow. The CDC suggests that even 48 hours after you're symptom free, you could still be shedding the virus, Yikes. which is why it's important to stay away from anyone that may be immunocompromised um, to avoid any type of exposures. And is there really any treatment for it? There's no treatment for it. It's really symptomatic management, which means treating the symptoms. So treating any underlying nausea with more fluids, making sure you're not getting dehydrated by drinking a lot of fluids, maybe considering having Pedialyte or any type of electrolyte substance like a Gatorade, mm. making sure that you know if you're having a lot of dizziness and lightheadedness that you're getting seen by a doctor because if you're getting dehydrated, that could be a medical emergency. So it's important to make sure that you know, if you're having these symptoms and they're lasting for a few days and you're just not feeling yourself, you should definitely see a doctor because it should get better by two to three days. Now, now, is this treated by antibiotics or it's more viral? It's a viral infection, which is not treated by antibiotics. There is no treatment, unfortunately, other than symptomatic management. There are sometimes medications you can take to prevent nausea. And sometimes if people are having really bad abdominal cramps or spasms, there's medications that can be prescribed for that as well. Um, but the major thing is, if you are sick, please stay home. Avoid contact with other people for at least 48 hours, even after you don't have any symptoms because you are highly contagious yeah. and you can get other people sick. The other thing a lot of people don't realize is everyone's been using hand sanitizer. We got used to this during COVID, yeah. but hand sanitizer does not kill the norovirus. Oh. Uh. So what you need to do is wash your hands and you need to wash your hands okay. properly, right? You remember okay. washing your hands for at least 20 seconds mm -hmm. uh -huh. is a proper way to wash your hands. And 20 seconds is like singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, so make or sure singing you the happy through. birthday song. All right. <laughs> exactly. Dean, the I'm gonna have to wrap it there. We have to go, but yes. thank you. Appreciate Thank the you so much for having me.